Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel SKV Tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to backup and restore Windows 10 files and folders via external hard drive. The file history feature automatically backup your files to a drive that you selected. So in case you lose your original files and folders, you can always restore them using the file history backup drive that you created. However, most of the users are unfamiliar with this tool. They must want to know about how they can use this tool to backup and restore on their system. That is what we are going to do. So watch the video and subscribe to the channel okay let's start let's see how to backup file history feature using control panel to do that open the run dialog box by pressing windows logo key plus r in the run dialog box field type control and press the enter key to open the control panel you can also open the control panel through the windows search feature in the control panel change the view option to get the old control panel settings like this under control panel settings now click on the file history settings in the file history settings, here Windows automatically select the drive that can be used for file history backup. Here we have one external USB flash drive. Now you can get access to the left side additional settings for file history. If you have another drive, click the select drive. It will show you available drives that can be used for file history backup. Also you can exclude folders by clicking on the add a folder under the exclude these folders option like this. In the advanced settings, you can also schedule the backup with different timing and set the keeping backup time like this as you wish. Once you prepare to start, click on the turn on button to start the file history backup. This will start backup your files to a drive that you selected. After for a while, once complete the process, it will stop file history backup automatically. Then you will see run now link. If you want to run again file history backup, click on it like this. Once complete the backup, you have created a backup files to a drive that you selected. Now click on the turn off button to completely stop the file history backup like this. Now close the control panel. That's it. Next to restore missing or corrupted files and folders through control panel by using the file history backup file. To do that, firstly you have to connect the external storage device that contains your file history backup files like this. Next to open the run dialog box by pressing windows logo key plus R. In the run dialog box field type control and press the enter key to open the control panel. In the control panel, change the view option to get the old control panel settings. Under control panel settings, now click on the file history settings. Here in the left side additional file history settings, you can restore files and folders by clicking on the restore personal files. You can see here, click on it. Then you will see this kind of window. This will displace all the folders that have been backed up by file history. Now you can select the folder you want, select the folder and then click the green button at the bottom of the window to restore it like this then windows automatically restore folders to its previous location like this you can see here next if you need only a file from the folder then double click the folder to view it and make sure the file you want then select the file and then click the green button at the bottom of the window to restore it like this you can see here that's it this is how you can restore missing or corrupted files and folders by using file history backup file okay that's it i hope this video helps you thanks for watching and supporting please don't forget to hit like and subscribe your contribution is more confidence to us if you have any issues so please let me know in the comment section below please don't forget to subscribe my channel for more useful videos once again thanks for watching and supporting see you in next video bye take care